So for today, we're going to be looking at the challenges for week one, and that's pretty much it. We're not going to be looking at Eververse just because, ah, uh, you know what? We'll look at the brightest in case you haven't seen my Eververse video, which either way, if it's up now, I'll post it right now. If not, just be on the lookout because I will post that soon. But for now, we're going to be looking at Acolyte Ascent 1, complete week one of Bladed Path Quest. Not hard, just literally do what the game is telling you to do. It was pretty cool. I actually liked it quite a bit. Pretty interesting. Uh, Adept Arcana, complete major Arcana quest to collect your collect your deck of whispers. I don't know what this means. I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure this means the cards that you can find, but I haven't found five. I've only found, well, I have found five, but I haven't completed them all. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys, uh, if you guys know what this means, because again, I, I just came back from Los Angeles yesterday. So a lot of these things are still new to me. Uh, Master Conjurer, co collect offerings, which are used to summon combatants in altars of summoning, complete altars of summoning encounters, higher difficulty encounters, grant bonus progress. So I've already done the offerings. I just need the encounters completions, which, um, I guess it doesn't count your first run, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, which which is spoils open chest in Sabbath Spire or the altars of summoning earn bonus progress by opening chests with which the witches uh, or with which is keys. Not hard, just uh, Spire do uh, Sab either Sabbath Spire or altars of summoning. I like altars of summoning quite a bit. It's pretty interesting, but Sabbath Spire you will have help. So it's either or at that point and just ha make sure you have which keys, which I think you can get from just doing other stuff in the game. Uh, taking all challenges, complete weekly playlist challenges. Uh, so that's going to be these right here, which for those of you who don't know, basically these uh, the weekly one out of three complete ritual activities and all of these will have that. I think legends should have some of it as well. Oh, that's right. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, the exotic missions are up here now, which is super dope. We will most likely have the new raid in here because uh, it is from an old, it's from Destiny 1, which against Destiny 1, Destiny 1. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let me see. Uh, generate orbs of power in Vanguard, Gambit, or Crucible playlist. I would probably recommend Vanguard or Gambit, not Crucible, because Crucible is really annoying to make orbs of power. So Vanguard or Gambit, with Vanguard probably being the best one just because uh strikes can take quite a bit of time if uh especially if you're doing nightfalls so i would just go to vanguard and then precision calibration calibrate marksman weapons scout rifles sniper rifles and linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows bonus progress against guardians i wouldn't even worry about the bonus uh i would just be doing the scout rifles and sniper like all of them i would do scout rifle a sniper rifle and a linear on heavy or you can do a sniper on heavy it doesn't really matter and I would just be doing that instead just because uh fuck trying to get the bonus. So that is pretty much it. We're going to be looking at the brightest just in case you guys are interested. But if you guys are interested to see the other stuff, like all of this stuff, definitely check out the Eververse video if I've already made it. If I should have, I'm going to edit all these like today. Um, That's not it. Let's go all the way up. So tight smoke. I think tight smoke is definitely worth a pickup. Just be aware that it does have some textures specifically like right here. You guys will see that uh, kind of looks like barnacles. At least to me, it looks like barnacles. So just be aware of that. We, wow, I hit, I hit escape twice. <laughs> we have dream cycle. I love this shader. The shader is super, super cool. And I'm happy that they were selling it. Definitely pick it up because this is a shader from a bundle. So that's why, that's why you should pick it up. We have lattice entrance which looks cool. We have eggshell, which reminds me of the girl from Wally, -E, which is probably what they were going either that or I don't know. That's what I, what, what my head went with experimental mishap. And then at the bottom we have the explosion, which is the ornament for, I forget what this one's called sunshot. Definitely a cool ornament. Definitely will recommend picking it up just because it is cool. And it kind of does complete my Vex looking Warlock, which I really, really love. Chelicerate, Cellicerate Cellicerate Visitor, which not the biggest fan of this one. It looks cool, but I just wouldn't wear it or use it. Assembly of Stinger, which is funny. 
we have the scribe shell. I definitely want to pick this up for a like explorer look, but I'm still not sure about it. Uh, face palm, which is an old one from season of dawn. We have a tiny friend, which it also does have an exit animation, which I actually, I like when they have ex exit animations. And then Raven Silk, I love this shader. I think the shader is super dope. Definitely gives armor, like specifically plate armor, a like weathered look, which is why I really like it. Grayscale Undergrowth, I would say pick this one up, even though in the Eververse video, I was like, eh, I wouldn't pick this up. Now, that, like the fact that I was like thinking about it made me think, okay, well, if I'm thinking about how to make this look good, then I'm definitely like at least interested in it because if I didn't care, then I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think about that. Uh, Vibrant Beach, this is one that I like, I don't care about this shader at all. So that's why I never really tell you to pick it up because like, I will never, I don't want, like, I don't have the urge to make this look good. And then 44 Steel, which I love the shader quite a bit. Uh, I just think the bronze looks really cool or brown, whatever. And that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below for, let me see, actually, because I don't know the here. Well, no, that's not that. Uh, I'm trying to see where the, uh, no, I'm trying to see where the, um, here it is. It is chess piece. That's unfortunate. Um, all the new exotics are arms. So once you guys see an arm day, definitely go and pick up the new exotics. Cause I definitely think some of them look really cool and some of them are going to be really, really interesting to use as well. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.